Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, yeah, I'm back. Um, kind of back. Um, I realise that I'm probably just going to post when I feel compelled to every now and again. I don't know. I don't know. I just, before I felt like a strong um, need to post regularly for some reason. Um, when I just realised that I don't really need to do that. And I... You know, it, it's the month. It's it's the month that I don't really like that much. Probably my least favorite month of the year, um, and I don't really see many people. Um, I recently lost a friend, um, not to death, because <laughs> um, that would be terrible. No, I, I I've told some of you already that I um, stopped being friends with somebody because I felt that they were being disrespectful towards me and my partner as well and I felt like they were being um I, I kind of realized that they were being uh, quite disrespectful to women in general um and I could use some names to describe this type of behavior or this type of person but I'm not going to um and that hasn't been the easiest thing to deal with and I don't really have many friends to be honest um you know sometimes I'm like I don't want any I don't want to see anybody I don't want to yeah and then other times it can be a bit more difficult to deal with <laughs> let's just say that um but you know I, I realized that I do push people away um during those periods of time um yeah, during just during certain periods of time and then I don't know how to initiate to like yeah I'll, I don't know I'm just bad with like that kind of thing and I want to be better um but you know let's just say my social anxiety is not fantastic but I'm doing something about that um finally but I don't want to talk about that in the video because I want to share less um personal stuff and i you know this is what i kind of said to myself is i um i want to make content that um yeah is basically just sharing insights and views and stuff that i have on here whether that's around adhd or you know anything else there's current events you know stuff like that so um yeah it's nice um i really like this little community um, when people comment on my videos i really it's i really appreciate it basically um and i um yeah it's just yeah just like having a little having some friends online you know um where you can just share things with and then yeah i'm just rambling now so um i wanted to talk a little bit about um well as you guys know i have adhd um, I have the INTP personality type and I also um, an, am an Enneagram 5 wing 4 um, and obviously my ADHD I take medication for so I used to feel in the past that I had so many interests and I think people with all of these different um, these three components any one of them probably feel like this that you kind of spread yourself thin over several different things um, and you have you know several different interests that you either just go from one to the other or you flip between them and I definitely realized that since taking ADHD medication I um, have kind of dwindled down a little bit and got more clarity and focus on what my interests are um, and it's taking a very, very long time. Um, there's multiple reasons why I ignored certain interests in the past, um, from caring too much about what people think um, to just dismissing them because I thought they were kind of pointless or something. I don't know. Um, and yeah, so I have realised, um, and you know, I've been shown this multiple times in my life and I... I never really understood why I was so drawn to listening or, you know, listening to people or watching people who are very passionate about certain things, who have a lot of knowledge about a certain thing or, you know, 
a subject or a field of interest and stuff like that. And the reason is, is because I have the desire inside of me to want to be an expert in something. Um, and honestly, that is quite a vulnerable thing to share. <laughs> it just feels like because, you know, there's a lot of expectations come around that. And I, I'm trying to let go of having so many expectations um, that maybe even might not even be achievable you know um and i think having adhd as well and uh, not really being able to okay this is the way i used to study in the past um i have always found i don't want to like seem like i'm really like i think highly of myself or whatever because like i really don't um <laughs> but i typically haven't haven't needed to study to get good grades or oh, I've studied the day before and I've got good grades you know if I had really had the mindset which I didn't because my brain was all over the place to study um full-time not full-time but just like when I'm at school doing I say my GCSEs um I would probably have gotten all A stars like if I was on medication I probably would have gotten all A stars and I don't, again, I don't want to sound like, actually, yeah, I, in, 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 in some ways, like, I'm pretty much calling myself lazy, a lazy person, somebody who hasn't really needed to put in so much effort to get what I want, um, in terms of, because obviously my mental health is just, and my physical health just has not been good, um, so, you know, I haven't had it easy or anything, but, I, yeah, I'm somebody who needs to put that effort in um, to become an expert in something. And so because of that, um, it's kind of put me off. Um, it's put me off sometimes because I found that when I've come to study things, I, and and it takes more um, mental energy than I normally exp expend, expend, I think is the word, um, I become stressed. And I yeah, I need to learn some study skills. I really need to be patient with myself and actually spend the time learning something. And if I don't get it the first time or the second time, keep trying, you know. Um, and, you know, a lot of people with ADHD, um, as, my psychiatrist told, as my psychiatrist told me, are um, quite intelligent people. Um, but the applying ourselves can be quite difficult um so taking medication i am much more willing and um able to put in that time that i need um and yeah sometimes i get a bit of stress from doing that but if i have this desire that i've been recognizing and seeing everywhere like i was listening to radio 4 for like two days this week when i was at work um alone in one of the labs and I came to realize the reason that I really enjoy listening to like talking radio um and music really fueled my um mindset or my my dopamine or you know, uh, if this makes sense because I'm not putting it in very good terms but it really fueled me when I had ADHD um obviously I still got ADHD but you know when I before I took medication um, music was my drug in a way it kept me going because it helped raise my dopamine up um i needed to have music in my life and so i've become very quite addicted to have music um and i still absolutely love music but i also realized that i also now really enjoy listening to people's opinions and you know their views on things um and them sharing things that they've learned and you know come to conclusions about and i want to be like that <laughs> um and it you know it is a it's a vulnerable thing to share like i recognize that um and yeah i think that other people who are similar to me um may agree um I really, like, there's so many YouTube channels I follow, not because I have, like, a big interest in a certain topic, 
but because the people who um are running the say the youtube channel are maybe think similarly to me are interested in similar things to me perhaps but mostly they're passionate about something and they know a lot about something um and i yeah i want that i want to be the person who is being interviewed on radio for um you know social anxiety aside of course um i want to be that person i have this i have this desire um and i am trying um and i i know it's gonna take a lot of work to get there um but i'm in the point point in my life now where i don't really have much like i enjoy you know i enjoy my life now and again <laughs> that sounds so pathetic i don't mean it like that i mean like i have my own difficulties still um but i you know and i have like my little etsy shop and things like that but i don't really feel like i'm moving forward hugely like i don't have much to show for myself um not to not to get other people's like not because i care what other people think but because i care what i think um and i would really like to um have you know I, i've spent a lot a lot of time studying and researching like a huge variety of things like just learning a huge variety of things and in the past couple of years i've really tried to um, zone in um, on things more and that's been really great um, i have enjoyed that a lot um, and so yeah i am sharing like my open university um journey i guess um on another channel which is just called sarah wilson because that is my name um you probably knew that <laughs> um and you know it's so funny to me that when you're like 16 17 18 you have to make like important life decisions about what you want to do with your life what if you have no idea what if your mindset or your headspace is just not ready for that for whatever reason um i definitely wasn't you know especially because i had adhd and i did not know that i had adhd um and i don't know if i if i if i hadn't uh, if i had been taking medication then i don't know if i really would know what i wanted to do with my life you know i don't know um it's just taking a long time to realize what i want to do with my life and i'm not going to share like all the ins and outs of that but you know i i have and i believe other people who um perhaps think a bit like me probably have this desire as well um and rather than being like you know looking back and thinking you know i so could have done this sooner um or you know i've just wasted all this time or whatever else like you could um really just like use to bring yourself down um instead of like wishing i had be been like this person that i was now like 10 years ago i can't change any of that the only thing i can do is work towards being somebody that i am kind of proud to be <laughs> you know um or that i'm like i i realize that one of the ways that i really gain confidence is by having evidence of that um i have struggled with self-doubt self-confidence self-belief since i was very young um for certain reasons surrounding my own um upbringing shall we say um and you know i've been working through those issues um a lot but what i've come to realize that despite all of that um i really do feel confident when i um i don't know fix something at work you know stuff like that um so i have real evidence that i um i'm good at something i guess um and i know if if i had no proof of that i would have to try and find it a different way um that's just me personally um you know i think we should have confidence in ourselves that we are able 
to actually achieve what it is that we want to achieve even if it's going to take 20 years you know that's kind of what I've been thinking recently um and so you know it's never too late to it, it's not too late to you know dive into a new interest just to do something new to you know plan for a different life or lifestyle that you want in the future um and um it's kind of the direction that I'm heading in and um yeah so I just wanted to share share that really um I really hope you guys are doing well um I do like miss you <laughs> it's so weird like when I say when I say things like that I don't know why um but I do um and I um yeah I guess I'll see you again soon.